I know this season didn't end the way we wanted it to. They did make it to the AFC Championship game. And yes, the Chiefs did take a bite out of our heart as Bengals fans. But one thing I can say, and all Bengals fans and Bengal observers from across the world, is that we do have that guy under him leading the way. And we do have that guy at the top. Mr. Zach Taylor and Mr. Joe Burrow. But this is a fun time of the year. This is my favorite time of the year. Where players get drafted, life changes, organizations can either make or break with what they have, with the assets they have available in a draft. But by far, as an individual myself, this is my favorite time of the year. The NFL draft, where dreams are made and where dreams come true. Where you could be undrafted and become a Hall of Famer, a la Kurt Warner. Or you can go number one overall and things don't work out, a la Jamarcus Russell. Or you can be the Bengals and you draft Jamar Chase and you draft guys like Jesse Bates and all these parts in a five-year span and, and you create a team that makes it to the Super Bowl. So I did a few mock drafts. And the reason I, I chose PFF because I did a few other ones on other websites, man. And to be quite honest, they have a lot of people falling that just shouldn't be there. So I felt like this was the most realistic one. And so this is what this is the one I did. And so obviously we got pick 29. You see who we got on the board. Um, a lot of good players. I love BJ Ojolari. He reminds me of Joseph Osai. Obviously Andre Carter and Dalton Kincaid. But this Kalijah Kansi guy, man. Please go watch his highlights, man. This guy is the guy that I'm going to get. I believe if we put him on our team, he gives us that Geno Atkins factor. Um, somebody that we can actually pair with uh, DJ Reader and allow BJ Hill to be a rotational uh, three technique like he was when um, Larry Oak and Joby was here. So yeah, we're now in round two. Um, yeah, this is my favorite time of the year, guys. This is, this is, the juices is flowing. I love the NFL draft. I'm a draft junkie. Um, I love seeing guys uh, manifest their success. But once again, I don't even know if Dewan Jones will be here, but I had to take Dewan Jones, man. This guy, six foot eight. I mean, he's got like almost a, his hand is almost a foot. He's got like a seven foot plus wingspan. Um, I had to take him. Uh, around two, man. He's the right tackle. I really believe he would uh, just help us in the future. And then we're in round three right now. And I'm looking around at positions. I know we could use a running back. I know we could, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking what could we do to help? Because I don't, I don't think Joe Mason is going to be back. Um, I want to keep P. Ryan. I just want to give him somebody that can help. But this guy right here, Steve Avila, I'm, I may be mixing his name, but I truly believe He's going to be a star guard in the league. And so I kind of just went the trenches again, you know, just based off what happened in the playoffs. This guard we just drafted out of Texas um, TCU, I believe um, down the road, like after capital contract is up, he'll be a guy we can easily slide into that right guard position. That right tackle I drafted at Ohio State, though, I don't know, man, he could really push Lyle Collins day one. Um, and then this corner, Riley Moss, I see him, but I'm, 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 I'm a huge fan of the Michigan corner, man. I watched a lot of, a lot of film on him, a lot of highlights as well. DJ Turner, also he played with Dax Hill. He, this guy, DJ Turner might run very well at the combine, man. I like this guy. He's aggressive. He speed, he has the speed you want in defensive back. I'm excited to see what he can do at the next level. And I know with our coaching staff, we could develop and, and draft pretty well. And then this guy, this running back, McIntosh out of Georgia. Once again, if we let go mixing in, which we should do as an organization, keeping P. Ryan and then adding a guy like McIntosh, man. McIntosh is so versatile, man. He catch the ball out the backfield. You can put him out wide. He's a hell of a route runner, man. He's a hell of a player. And I think he's going to be a great late round steal in this upcoming draft in 2023. Um and then now we're now we're in the later rounds. I kind of feel like I missed out on a tight end, so I feel like okay, in this position we're gonna just have to go ahead and get one in free agency, 
and, and extend Hayden Hurst. But I want to go ahead and get this wide receiver out of TCU, uh, Texas Christian. This guy, Demario Davis, I believe he had four punt returns in his career and one touchdown. I mean, one kickoff return for a touchdown. What a hell of a special teams asset. Every time Trent Taylor gets the ball, guys, I'm not going to lie. Every time Trent Taylor get a punt return, I be extremely nervous. Like, I just, I do. I can't lie. And uh, this guy having five returns for touchdown in his, in his career is just somebody we need. And then taking a guy like Rajon Wright, who I feel like PFF is overlooking. But since I've done his mic draft a few times, I know that he was going to be available at the end. And so I took him. He's a six foot four strong corner, guys. But if we just look at this mock draft, man, Caleb Cansey, I'm thinking, give me 85% of Geno Atkins, and I'm happy. Dewan Jones, uh, let's just say he's a, hopefully he's a better version of Andre Smith and a little bit, you know, in between Big Willie. And you can put him out there on that right side. Avila, I mean, uh, I'm hoping he could be a great guard in the future. DJ Turner, uh, a guy I believe that has great outside and inside ability as a corner. Uh, McIntosh, the running back, is going to be great. So uh, I'm just excited for this season, guys. I'm excited for this NFL draft. It's BSU 513. Comment below and tell me what y'all think. And I'm out. Let's get it.